Hello and welcome to another video of CBT Read. My name is Hurang and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your GNS3 to the internet. For this purpose, first you need to create a loopback adapter. Uh, I've already shown you in previous videos how to create loopback adapter, but a quick review. To do that, you right click on my computer or computer on your desktop, hit on manage. and we wait for the window to open okay device manager and right on the name of your computer right click add legacy hardware click next install uh, install the hardware that I manually select from a list next and now from this list you have to choose network adapter Next, here you wait for a while to give you the list of the available manufacturers. Here is Microsoft, and on the right side you look for uh, the back adapter. We've got okay, uh, loop back adapter. Click next, and after this next and it will be finished. I'm not going to do that now because I've already uh, created one so uh, nothing nothing much uh, It's pretty straightforward after this you click next and finish but remember you have to restart your computer after creating this so that you can see that new uh, adopter in the list of GNS3's list of networks uh, okay after that you're gonna go to network and sharing center change adapter settings and here you can even change the name as you see I've done already you just right click on the name of this loopback adapter Microsoft loopback adapter right click rename and uh, rename to whatever uh, that you like so that it's more visible to you when you go through this list okay so next you have to go to your GNS3. Here's the GNS3 that I've got. I think I've got two. Okay. I have two GNS3 open. Okay. Now I've got one here. Uh, I need to bring in one router, whatever router that you have. Okay, and one cloud from the left side, left panel. So this cloud here will represent your internet, and this is the router. If you want to have another network behind this router, you can have and configure it later. But for this purpose, I'm just gonna for this video, I'm just gonna use this router, and I'm gonna uh, first we have to right click on the uh, cloud that you entered in here configure and NIO Ethernet here look for the loopback adapter which is the first one Microsoft loopback add and OK and then after that I connect this router to this loopback adapter OK now I just have to start this router Well, while this router starts, I go back to Network and Sharing Center. Not this one. I think I've closed it. So I open it again. Uh, change adapter setting. Uh, now, uh, you have to look for the network, uh, network interface card that you get internet through that. For example, you might have internet connection through a LAN card or you might have it through wireless network or a DS, DSL network. Whichever is your network interface card, just right click on that. In this, in my case, I have my internet uh, through a wireless network. So right click on this wireless network, go to properties. Now, as I told you, for example, if yours is a DS, uh, DSL line, 
you can do the same, right click on it and uh, go to properties, hit sharing tab and here allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So click on that and here on this drop down list use Microsoft Loopback 1 and then click OK. Now I have to mention that if you're using DSL connection after doing this you need to disconnect from your internet connection and reconnect again so that all the properties that you have changed will uh, take effect. Okay so now that's done. Okay now my router eats up a lot of resources as you can see here. I have to convert it to idle PC and I'm not sure that you can hear now my CPU's fan is really making some noise so now I'm still waiting for this idle PC to be calculated um, okay uh, unfortunately after this okay now I think my CPU is better a little a bit less uh, I think I have to calculate another idle PC Still takes time. Let me pause my video. I do this, and once it's done, I'll come back. Okay, now it's done. No need to pause. Well, okay, and okay. Okay, now it's better. Right click on the router console. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to, uh, I forgot to, you have to assign one IP address to that loopback adapter as well. Now let's go back here, check if our loopback adapter has an IP address that usually it has because I shared my internet so you can see what IP address you have here. 192.168.137.1 so that is the IP address of your loopback adapter. Now, what I need to do in this router, uh, I'm using fast Ethernet one slash zero to go to the net. So here, we go to global configurations, interface fast Ethernet one slash zero. I have to assign IP address of 192.168.137. For example, two. And same subnet mask. And no shutdown. Now, my goal is to ping an IP address on the net from this router. For example, I'm going to ping 4.2.2.2 famous DNS from this this router. If I can do that, it means this router is connected to the internet. Okay. Uh, after configuring this, you can uh, you have to configure an uh, a default route for this router as well, so that it knows where to send the uh, the IP addresses out. Uh, but before that, I'm going to ping this address to see if it works. Okay, so let's ping 4.2.2.2. Okay, yeah. I, I have to configure the default route as well. Uh, we just go to global configurations. We configure one uh, uh, default route for this router. IP route 0.0.0.0, 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0, .0, .0. I say, 
if you receive a packet and you don't know where to send that packet, send it to 192.168.137.1, meaning the IP address of your loopback adapter, as you can see that here. The address that I have, 192.168.137.1. So now this is my default route and we're done. So this time I should be able to ping that address. Let's do that again, ping 4.2.2.2. And as you see that here, ping was successful. Now this router is connected to the internet, but I need to remind you if you have any, any other network behind this router, for example, if you, you wanna have some computers here and you want to connect that computer to the internet, that computer cannot go out unless you configure a NAT on this router. Then after that, the computer can go out. And uh, I should mention that you need to have a DNS server as well. Uh, that would be very easy, or uh, just you can give an address of uh, uh, any, any DNS server outside to, on the net. Uh, that will be fine. You don't need to configure any DNS server for yourself. Okay. So that's how you can connect your uh, router in GNS3 to the internet. Uh, I hope this, this video is helpful to you and thank you for watching.